Hey guys, I thought I would make this video to help anyone who needs to change the oil pan on a 2001 to 2005 Honda Civic. And this particular model has a manual transmission, so there is a little splash shield um, on the bottom of the car, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But um, it should be pretty straightforward and um, pretty similar for an automatic if you have that. So uh, yeah, this is a job that'll probably take a good few hours to do if you haven't done this before especially and um, the other thing you're gonna see some people do is they'll actually take off the full headers from the car um, but on this thing you don't need to do it because you have two um, spring bolts that are holding on this flange to connect the headers onto the downpipe that goes to the catalytic converter and so that's unnecessary so I'm gonna take you guys through how to get that off pretty quickly um, and then the other thing you're going to need to do if you do it that way, and even if you do it the header way, is removing the O2 sensor. So this is the connector for the O2 sensor right here. So you're going to want to make sure you remove that. Um, and then there's also some cable routing down there um, to prevent the O2 sensor cable from smashing in and burning on the exhaust pipe because this stuff gets super hot. Another thing is don't do this right after you've driven your car because you will burn yourself uh, even if you're super careful. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to make some clips and uh, hopefully this will help people who need to change an oil pan gasket and stay tuned. And so the trick with this whole thing is getting off the exhaust pipe um, from underneath the car. So right now I'm underneath the car. These are the headers coming in here. You can see inside the four um, hoses or pipes that lead into this main one before it gets to the catalytic converter. Um, and so getting this exhaust pipe off is pretty easy it's just two spring bolts uh, on either side of the flange on this thing and then uh, the other part i did is i didn't feel like unscrewing the uh, o2 sensor from the exhaust pipe so i just disconnected the uh, cable from it which hopefully you can see um, and then you just there's these little shrouds here uh, on the engine that will hold the cable in place while the car is driving so i just right now i'm letting the cable hang free like this and uh the next step here is now we have sufficient clearance to get the oil pin off um we can begin unscrewing all of these bolts and so if you're wondering why would someone go through the trouble of changing an oil pan gasket it's for exactly this reason is we can see there's a lot of uh, especially on this side uh wet oil right here and that's indicative of a uh, leaking gasket which is no bueno so uh, we're gonna be taking these bolts off and the other part of this is that you'll have two um, big aluminum brackets holding the transmission to the oil pan and so there's three bolts on each of them um, I already took them off just to save time but um, you take um, them off. There's going to be one right here on this side of the uh, oil pan uh, and then there's another one right here and so yeah uh, after taking that off um, now we're just going to and make sure you drain the oil make sure you drain the damn oil <laughs> before you take all these bolts off because otherwise it's going to turn into a huge mess uh, when this pan comes off if you don't do that beforehand so yeah. To follow up with the oil pan um, the next hardest part in getting this thing off is actually getting the oil pan separated from the engine block on the car and even after you take off all bolts and there's probably like 20 ish of them um the next problem you run into is that usually the old seal that was on there is on there really tight and so uh the trick to getting it off and honda thought of this uh, beforehand they put these little tabs right here uh, on the bottom of the engine block and this is the uh, frontmost part of the car so that's the radiator right here um, on this side of the car there's a tab and you can use either a hammer and the pry thing on the hammer or you can use a crowbar which I did which has the nice little elbow at the end of it and you just put the elbow um, inside this little crank thing and you're gonna have to pull really hard to get this thing separated and it's going to go really fast it's just going to pop right off but um you do need quite a lot of force to get this to go right um but once you do uh this oil pan does come off nicely we got a good separation so i'll be able to take this off the rest of the way 
Okay, and so here's what the bottom of the engine looks like once you get the oil pan off. And so what we can see is that uh, either the either Honda or some guy before put on a super thick uh, seal around the edges. And so that really created a very strong uh, attraction between the oil pan and the block of the car. Um, but it's off and the next steps here is going to be cleaning all of the uh, old stuff off and trying to get a very clean surface. Uh, for the new uh, oil pan gasket and sealant. Um, and yeah, so that's this is looking pretty good. Uh, and I don't see anything catastrophic, like some shreds of metal uh, in the old oil pan right here. And so, um, yeah, it's just a matter of cleaning around these gaps now and uh, putting it back together. So I'll get back. All right, so um, after you finished um, cleaning the seals between the block of the car and the oil pan. Um, you're going to line it up and just put all the bolts back on. And there is a very particular sequence in which you should uh, torque down these bolts and you're going to do it in stages because the last thing you want to happen is to have this oil pan go down crooked because then you're going to have an oil leak and then you're just going to come back and do this all over again. So. Um, and the way you do it is you start with the middle bolt and you will alternate to the bolt on the other side and you will do a cross pattern. So after you've done that bolt, you will do the bolt to the right of this one here and then uh, torque down the bolt to the left of the middle one on this side of it. And you just keep doing that. So you keep going to the right one bolt on this side and to the left one bolt on this side. And that way you help uh, make sure that this thing will go down um, straight and don't torque any one bolt too hard in one pass you want to torque them all down gradually and so putting this oil pan on right will not be a fast job it should take maybe 20 minutes of just nothing but very slowly and gently torquing these bolts down so that is a very important thing to do if you're going to try to do this and then also um, put back in the uh, splash shield here for the uh, transmission bell housing with the oil pan. And then the last thing uh, we're going to be doing is actually installing the uh, aluminum mounts that will support the transmission on the actual oil pan. And those both have three bolts each and they go on both sides of uh, the oil pan. All right. So um, this and then finally, what you're going to do is uh, if you did what I did, you're going to put back on the O2 sensor cable. And so this part should be pretty straightforward. You're just routing the cable through these little tabs here, and you're going to plug that into the actual, um, wiring harness, which is somewhere up there. And then you'll be able to see it once you've routed the cable properly. So yeah, that's going to um, wrap things up. And, uh, I hope you guys found this useful. Thanks for watching.